We have evidence which puts you in Keene's car in close physical contact. We've been over this, McCoy. They were looking at carpet samples. Sandra will testify that Fox Hill Decor never provided any decorating services to the Burnham Woods Company. Four Topaz clients will testify that Hillary provided sex in exchange for money. And they're all alive. She didn't kill them, and she didn't kill Keene. Why on earth would she? Now we have that piece of the puzzle. Mac Burnham told us everything. Quite a romantic, isn't he? Burnham's going to testify, too about his becoming obsessed with you, about how you disappeared when he pressured you to become his girlfriend, and about sending Gilly Keene out to find you. Who did Keene threaten to tell, Burnham? Your husband? Can I get back to you? We need to talk. I'd like to be a fly on the wall. They're gonna ask for man one. They wish. No way we're going less than 15. The blackmail can be a mitigating factor. It's the motive, not the defense. They're going to be blowing a lot of smoke at us. We play tough. We're holding all the cards. Jack, there's a notice of substitution on the way. Colson fired Metzler. Laney Stieglitz is riding to the rescue. The Betty Friedan militia? What the hell's she up to? I'm surprised, Laney. I didn't know prostitutes were in your hall of heroines. Lady Justice had my name on this one, Jack. The sexual exploitation of women. I do. I'm going to kick your backside all over that courtroom. I don't want to deprive you of your fun, but this doesn't have to go to a courtroom. Ooh, a plea? What is that? Good manners, or is the old man twisting your arm? It's generosity. We're offering your client murder two, 20 to life. <sighs> Why don't we all listen to her story? And then we can talk a little bit more about generosity. Okay, Hillary. Keen called me. He said he got my pager number from some friends of his, and could we meet? We met at the Oak Bar at the plaza. He seemed nice enough, and we decided to leave. Said the manager at the Carlisle was a friend of his. We could get a suite. I usually refused to get in a car with any client, but he had a nice car and we were only going a few blocks. So, as soon as I got in the car, he told me he worked for Burnham and knew about me. He showed me his gun and drove over to the West Side Highway. He told me I had two choices. I could go back and become Mac's girlfriend or I could service him free of charge whenever he wanted. I said I wouldn't do either, and I tried to get out of the car. He grabbed me by my wrist and said he was deciding for me. He put his hand on his gun, said I was his girlfriend starting now, and if I didn't do what he wanted, he, he would go to my husband. That's when he grabbed me by my hair. I tried to pull away, and he shoved my head down. I, I, I grabbed his gun, and I shot him. If it was self-defense, why didn't you go to the police and tell them what happened? My life would have been exposed to everyone. I told my husband. He agreed with me. You could have gone to the police after you told your husband. He said they wouldn't believe me. I swear to you, I was just protecting myself. I thought Keen was going to kill me. She had two good reasons to kill him. He was raping her, and he might expose her secret. One gets her acquitted, the other gets her 25 years to life. Right. And I think this claim of rape is a crock. So she just dropped her lipstick on him? There was sexual contact. She's a prostitute. Don't they do that for a living? She can't be raped because she's a prostitute? 
Oh, she just is incredible, that's all. She just as likely used sex to put Keen at ease before shooting him. Lucky for you, the defense has the burden of proving rape. Well, don't pop the champagne yet. She's a sympathetic defendant with two small children. The victim wasn't exactly a saint. If she were my client, I'd have a field day. With no evidence to support rape except her word? He drove her to an out-of-the-way place. He had rape on his mind. She got into his car willingly. She had murder on hers. One fact, two sharp edges. You're gonna need an extra large box of Band-Aids. <laughs>